Red alert. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. A Marxist youth bloody revolution has been initiated. Our undercover just recorded Sunrise Movement's announcement of a nationwide 100-day siege on the eve of the Bohemian Grove cremation of care ritual, changing their Sunrise logo into the wide-awake, all-seeing eye. They claim to be finishing the work of Reconstructionism, purposefully kicking off a continuation of the American Civil War. This is really the moment that this broken system could all come crumbling down, but it's up to us to take action and make it happen. We have to bring the crisis to their doorsteps. And we're going to mobilize outside the homes of politicians in the middle of the night to wake them up. That's right, y'all, no justice, no sleep. And this isn't just your regular protest. This is a daily haunting to make it clear that our generation is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to the revolution in the streets and at the ballot box. My dream is that we bring these failed and corrupt institutions to their knees and we build something new. I love the term siege because I feel like that's exactly what we're going to do. And I all encourage you to go read the Wikipedia page for what a siege is because have that expectation. We need to tell the world that we're not taking this bull anymore. That they will see us, they will feel us, and they will hear us until they are deaf with our demands. Rome was not built in the day and it was also not sieged in the day. In fact, it was sieged over the course of one year and nine days, which was a fact I learned today. Every single day from now until the election is a day we're preparing for ballot time battle and the post-election eruption of our pent-up anger. That means showing up to houses of politicians everywhere who have failed us. So for the next 100 days, we will haunt these architects of the death economy. We will march into their homes. We will march into their homes. We will march into their homes and make it plain and simple for them. They are using an example of a pro-abolitionist group from the 1860s called the Wide Awakes. If you go back and read about the tactics used by the Wide Awakes, they were a group that would use hammers to smash windows, break stuff, and beat people. On election day, Wide Awakes monitored voting lines, challenged suspicious voters, and checked to see that ballots were genuine before they were cast. A nationwide campaign of harassment, violence, and intimidation is now underway. The Sunrise Movement, March for Our Lives, United We Dream, and Black Lives Matter are the main groups organizing this uprising. You saw what they did to the cities. Well, now they're planning to target American citizens at their homes. Quote, we need to prepare for the new terrain. Cops enforcing domestic property disturbances more aggressively than police office sit-ins and brutality by federal officers in cities across the country. They plan to use children on the front lines, forcing law enforcement to engage with minors. Youthful rioters will aggressively go to prominent outspoken conservatives and politicians' homes to, quote, show them who really has the power. The mission is to disrupt their private life and well-being by shouting, bullhorning, and banging to keep them in a state of continued anxiety. Remember, this is the same group of people that said burning down buildings is a legitimate form of protest. Well, do they feel the same about burning down homes? Actions like burning buildings um, are legitimate and powerful forms of resistance. So we should expect the same thing that's been happening in Portland to start happening now on the doorsteps of prominent conservatives and Republicans. The protest at Mitch McConnell's home was a Juneteenth beta test. They also say that they need a president whose strings they can pull and that Biden is their guy. Despite the potential for change that's coming, we still have to deal with Biden, right? And I know literally every time I open the news, he's gone and said something else terrible. The Democratic Party is banging us over the head with we got to defeat Trump. And this really speaks to me, right? We need an administration we can control. We need to be able to pull the strings if we want to be able to implement the visionary future we need. After they get Biden elected through street tactics, they will overtake his administration. So now we're going to take actions they cannot ignore.
on election day, they plan to take civil unrest to voting polls in suburban and Republican areas. They will be targeting Trump's poll watchers. The claim that they are agents of intimidation to keep black and brown people from voting. So as we ramp up to the election, we know there's a lot that's going to be stopping black and brown people and young people from voting. Polling places are being shut down. And we've heard that Trump has called for 50K poll watchers, which we all know that means there's going to be an army of terrorizers to scare black and brown people from voting. It's going to be rough. So they claim they are going to be protesting at the polls to help protect brown and black people. But minorities have had open access to voting booths just like everyone else. The real goal is to scare and intimidate conservative voters away by having these violent groups present at the polls. That's why we need to show up like never before. You really think they aren't going to physically attack Trump voters given the opportunity? It's time to win some sh So after showing our power on election day, we'll actually start to dictate how we rebuild society. We young people, we really need to get out there and fight like our lives depend on it because it really does, y'all. The revolution is here, y'all. It is outside our doorsteps and it's up to each and every one of us to decide who we are. Are we the vanguards of this revolution? Are we wide awake on this call and ready to bring the revolution to the doorsteps of our leaders from dawn until dusk? I think we are. Looks like George Soros is down for another round of happy making, and he will send his goons after you if necessary. For more reports, you can go to band.video or millennialmillie.com. You can also support me by going to Millie Weaver at Subscribestar. Please make a donation to help my work. You can also go to InfoWarsStore.com and make a purchase today. Thank you so much.